let's start with El Tunnel Oaxaca located in Isabela. Its construction actually started under Spanish domain, but it was finished after the U.S. invaded Puerto Rico. It was built in the early 1900s as part of an effort to transport sugarcane throughout the island. These are acerolas. Acerol. They have tons of vitamin C. And acerola juice is so delicious. I call it a stuff. Now we are coming. Now we're coming to get like the best tres leches ever. It's at this place called Delicia Serral. It's freaking bomb. It was $15 for four of these. And look how yummy they look. They are so good. It's homemade with cream. And then it's like crumbled up cake in the Tres Leches mixture. It's delicious. So this is part of our dinner. These are skirt steak pinchos, which are just on a skewer from Pinchos del Pepe. I'm gonna be eating that one. Um, some potato salad, some homemade lemonade, and mommy made rice. We got some garlic bread, and we also have a chicken one for the meat. Yeah, pollo. Chicken one comes with barbecue sauce. Now let's go to Arecibo to the Arecibo Lighthouse and Historical Park. It's actually a theme park that has multiple exhibits that talk about our native Tainos, the slave trade in Puerto Rico, and the Spanish conquerors. It has huge ship models that you can get on, an aquarium, animals, a beautiful lighthouse with 360 degree views, a play area and a splash zone with pools and bumper boats. This is a definite must go if you have kids. you have Atillo and Atillo has El Gran Parque del Norte. This is a super cute area for kids to just play and be about. They had a super cute train that the kids can get on. They had a rock climbing wall, bumper boats, 
little tracks so the kids can ride their bikes or their scooters or just to go to the beach, play in the sand, and some really cute photo ops. Finally, let's hit up Puerto Hermina in Quebradillas. We go here all the time because my mom lives like five minutes away, but it's actually really nice. It's known as a pirate's hideout because historians believe that it was popular for contraband that attracted lots of pirates back in the day. our trip to Puerto Rico with dinner at Desecheo in Aguadilla. The food is amazing. You definitely have to try it out before you leave. We had some fish, some mofongo, some arroz manpoteao. Mm, so good. But it was time to go back home, back to New York, counting down the days till we get to go back to Puerto Rico. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions about our trip to Puerto Rico, just comment it down below. And don't forget to watch part one of our Puerto Rico travel vlog. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.